How is it going? How's it going? Today we're gonna be talking about all the new set stuff that was released recently. Oh gosh, there's so much. Really the stuff I care about is what I'm gonna be talking about. So let's take a look, starting with some rumors that have not been revealed yet. So here we have a massive rumor roundup. All this is from 1414 Falcon Fan or Mila Lego News. All great accounts. Um, so Marvel $5 set based off of a Disney Plus show. Awesome. These aren't gonna have much to say because there's no figures or anything. But that sounds good. Five bucks. Hopefully one exclusive figure or something. And that sounds good to me. Spider-Man 4 Plus set based off of her own. Only $20? Hopefully includes the black suit though for 20 bucks. I doubt they do that. Uh, or um, what else did they miss? I don't know. Something. Maybe Mysterio and his like CGI suit. Something. something you know, and anything that I just listed. Um, Spider-Man $40 based off No Way Home. Awesome. A $20 one based off No Way Home. Awesome. The more sets for No Way Home, the better. Oh my gosh, bro. If we get a remake of the like 2002 Green Goblin, I think I'd die. Um, then we have another Disney Plus set, rumored to be World War II mech, possibly something else. This may be referring to something we'll take a look at in a second. New Asgard, very excited for that. We got a Korg leak. It will come with Fat Thor, Korg, and Meek. Maybe another figure. I don't know. Sanctuary 2, we'll look at that. That was revealed. New Marvel, and then two unknown ones. Um, one being Marvel, one being Batman. Uh, and then we got a rumored Tumblr for 40 bucks, and a D to C Tumblr for 200 to 250. Uh, and that, I mean, these are all rumors, but that that is particularly rumored. So here's the Sanctuary 2 set. Oh, Lord, okay. Um Iron Man, there's nothing special. I've seen him before. The Thanos is so derpy. <laughs> I don't know why anyone would want, you know, that Thanos. Um, I mean, other than the fact that it's a different suit for him, I don't, I don't get the appeal for a minifigure-sized Thanos. Sorry, not sorry. The Captain Marvel looks great. Would have loved, at the very least, duo molding, but preferably some leg printing. I would rather have her of leg printing than this dumbass Thanos, but whatever. Uh, I like his sword though. Uh, the Sanctuary 2 itself looks great, but in all honesty, I'm probably going to just brick link Captain Marvel and being a completionist, maybe Thanos one day, but I don't have the money for that now. Darth Vader Medical Chamber is next one we'll look at. I think it looks pretty cool, but I'm not going to get it for 70 bucks. It only comes with two figures, a non-exclusive Vader, a random Imperial, and a eh, looking build. That could look so much cooler. The cowl, this looks dumb. It looks so bad, man. <laughs> um, Frozen Tower. Looks actually pretty cool, but, you know, I'm not going to get it, obviously, because it's the dolls instead of the minifigures, and I could care less about Frozen. The Advent Calendar. Um, lackluster, honestly. This is like, eh, I don't like any of the builds, really. None of the figures are exclusive except for... Maybe Neville and whoever the goblin is, again, can just order those. Jurassic World, I'm not going to get any of these because they're over, all of them are overpriced as hell. Uh, this is like an 80 bucks set, $80 for 308 pieces. Again, I don't care about this franchise. I haven't even seen the second Jurassic World movie. Um, the boat looks derpy. The dinosaur looks all right. And yeah same here like 50 bucks for this bro the dinosaur looks really cool this is a cool dinosaur but like this truck's all right too but like every, i mean the helicopter sucks and i don't care about the minifigures who's what's this one 40 dollars for a okay looking dinosaur and a pretty crappy build i mean it's four plus but whatever and then we got this one i really 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 like the skeleton dinosaur really really like it and I like this mini dinosaur. And, you know, for 30 bucks, this may be one that I'll look into, actually. Uh, but what are you going to do? Titanic rumor. 630 bucks. Yeah, no. That'd be cool, though. I do want that. Monkey Kid. This is really cool. Mostly because of the minifigures. I really do 
like the minifigures here. Is there a better look? No. It builds alright too. What's this one? I got a mech. Again, minifigures are alright here actually. They're not great. Um, <laughs> what's this one? This one's pretty cool. I like this one. Though the minifigures aren't anything special there, which is all I care about, Monkey Kid. Here's some more pictures for the Batman Cowboy. It looks just horrible, man. Who wants this? Who wants this? Anywho, this is really cool. What if? I hate the build. <laughs> Another Hulkbuster, really? I mean, it's kind of cool. I'm not even going to lie. But this one stand out is the minifigures, bro. Oh my gosh. Okay, would have been cool to get a bigger head for the Watcher now that we know that they're doing that. But we have a a accurate Avengers 1 Tony Stark with the Black Sabbath shirt. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look up Avengers 1. Tony Stark. Valkyrie looks great. Uh, would prefer if we got the white costume, but m maybe for uh, Love and Thunder. And w the watch looks incredible, honestly. I'm so excited to see him um, in the show. Uh, now we take a look at the goods. Actually, you know what? While we're here, we'll just take a look at a couple other things from Marvel. Um, Avon Calder, absolute cheeks. Everything looks horrible. Uh, every single thing here looks horrible. I'm definitely not getting any of those. Captain Britain and the Hydra Stomper. Another freaking... <sighs> I'm excited for the minifigures. Unless they come in uh, the CMF. Bro, what is going on with this? We'll, we'll figure it out eventually, but... This either is going to suck big, 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 big juicy ball sacks because we'll get, like, two of the same figures instead of getting, like, a WandaVision or Falcon and Winter Soldier set. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I do like the what if love, though. It's a very unique concept. Uh, we'll look at this first. We have the advent calendar, right, for Star Wars. What? No, dude, it's so lame. <laughs> uh, is that even exclusive Mando? An exclusive Baby Yoda. IG 11's cool. I mean, the Scout Trooper looks awesome. They do, but like, I don't know. This is kind of a lame advent calendar. Okay, okay, big sets, big sets. Here we go, here we go. Let's start with this. Greatest set of all time? Yes. <laughs> Ahsoka versus Darth Maul. 20 bucks. $20. And it comes with this awesome Ahsoka, which I'm pretty sure we, was the one that came out this summer. And this awesome Darth Maul. But, oh my gosh. Perfect set. Now we have Imperial Troop Transport for $40. Great minifigure selection. I absolutely love the Yellow Trooper. Two Storm Troopers and Carl Weathers character. I can never remember the name of, but Carl Weathers is great. I'm so happy and the build looks great. Only $40. Awesome. 50 bucks. Cool looking Slave One. Does not look like it's worth $50, but we'll wait for official set pictures. The most lacking part of this is the fact that for supposedly $50, I mean, if this is a $40 set, this makes more sense. But, but these are the minifigures. Two. I mean, granted, two great minifigures, but this may be another situation where I just bricklink this Boba Fett because this Mando is not unique, and I'll just get him in another set. He comes in like a four. We then have the one hundred and sixty dollar Moff Gideon's cruiser. I think this looks awesome. Awesome. But it's $160, and that's a lot of money that I do not have, especially considering that I plan on getting the Daily Bugle, which I much prefer, because the minifigure, minifigure selection in one is much superior to the other. I mean, we're looking at the same thing here, right, guys? I guess six minifigures in a one six dollar set compared to tw 24. Holy balls in the Daily Bugle side. Bam. I mean, the ship looks great, and minifigures are great. Uh, Cara Dune, that was a bit of a surprise, not even I'm not gonna I'm not gonna front with you guys. That was a surprise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Moff Gideon, ten out of ten pay year. Gree, what is her, what's her name? Um, damn it, come on, Fennec Shan. <laughs> um, awesome, Dark Trooper, awesome. Now here's my complaint. Here we go. Should have included two or three Dark Troopers for one hundred sixty dollars. Two or three or maybe four even one hundred and sixty dollars here. Let me repeat that for you guys. One hundred and sixty dollars. My entry level job at McDonald's will get me that in two weeks of work. A uh, week and a half. Week and a half of work for this. 
give me a second one at least, man. Or throw in Luke Skywalker with a cape. You know, like a robed Luke. Come on, what are we doing here? The ideal minifigure selection here would be this that we're looking at right now, paired with a second Dark Trooper and Luke. That gives us enemies to fight, right? Enemies to fight and Luke Skywalker. But that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll get it. Maybe. But the best set, in my opinion, or second best. I mean, th this 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 is pretty pretty rad. Um, is this right here? Oh my gosh. Okay, the build's incredible. Mandalorian fighters. Pretty much just what's his name's fighter, but pre Vizsla's. Where this one stands is the figure selection, bro. Oh my gosh. Dude, it looks so good. What's his name? Uh, Bo-Katan, first off. Incredible. Um, um, how much is this? 60 bucks. Not so hot. Whatever. Hmm. Uh, can't remember his name. I can't remember his name. Uh, it's like pre No, is it? Pre no, that's not. Is that pre I don't know who that is. Great looking minifigure. I don't know who it is, though. Uh, and this dude who can't remember his name, but, 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 but looks just perfect. Perfect. Love it. Love everything here. 60 bucks is steep. Could have thrown in another Mandalorian. What are you going to do about it? I'm happy with it. And that's the sets that we have so far. Here's a better look at bo -Katan for you. Probably going to come with a hairpiece, I'd assume. But could be wrong. Yeah. I mean, just, just take, take, take a good look at how good that looks, man. And I love the toe printing's now a regular thing. Um, is there anything else here? Here's a better look at Boba Fett's armor. Ooh, ooh. That looks good, 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 good. Um, here's a better look at Moff, or what's his name, Carl Weathers. Is that Grief Cargo? Oh, okay, it's Grief Cargo. <laughs> Um, oh my gosh, bro. It looks so good. So good. So good. So good. Um, is there anything else? Here's a better look at Maul. Perfect, man. It's just perfect. Uh, oh yeah, here's, by the way, here's the Daily Bugle. Like, why would I not get this? Plus, just look at it. Like, oh my lord. It's a pretty picture. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. It's so good. But I also want the Venator. Dude, once I get this job, I'm about to spend every dime on my paycheck. My parents are going to be pissed, but I'm going to have everything. Anyway, that's the video. I'm excited. Some things aren't perfect. Star Wars is still ripping us off with the minifigures, but what are you going to do about it? Thank you for watching. Goodbye.